Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are here at our Blue Circuit Outpost. We are actually making blue circuits, which is kind of fantastic. So that means we can make more advanced stuff with them. Now, of course, we are kind of limited here um, with some stuff. Now, uh, we do need to add the blue circuits outpost to the thingy. Uh, now the question is, where do we... So this building assembly station is done, but this one is not yet. And this one is going to be asking for level 3 mod. Oh no, this is asking for level 1 modules! Ooh! Ah, oh also we're missing a power pole there. Okay, uh, what are they asking for? What do they want? I'm kind of wondering, like, what the heck are they asking for? Oh! They want some level 3 modules. I think we're going to cancel those requests. Because we don't actually need them here at this specific outpost. Okay, what else do we need? We now need bots, some beacons. Really? Mini beacons? No, we don't actually need beacons, guys. We don't really need beacons. That's a lie. We do not need beacons. So they're asking for 30. Let's put that down to zero because we don't need... Te well, technically, five. Let's put five in there. Okay, so now we're asking for 50 solid fuel. That's what we really want here. And that'll be okay. So I'm going to copy this name to our new building train station here and have them come to this outpost as soon as they deliver that fuel. Um, I feel like I should make a fuel train one day. I we, can we can actually do that today because we are going to um, make an outpost connecting this crude oil with a brand new refinery area, which we're going to build by hand because I don't have a blueprint for it. So why don't we go off and... Oh my god, cat, can you please refrain? Excuse me. Do not eat my cord. Nye. I don't know if you heard that. The cat has objected to me objecting to eating her eating cords. She was chewing on my, my phone cord. The phone is connected directly to the outlet, so it's faster um, than... See, can we go there, please? So we're going to take this off. Anyway, yeah, so the phone almost dropped to the floor, and I'm like, yo, don't do that. All right, here we go. Just a moment of patience. It's not going to take long to get there. And then we'll be out and about, and we can do our things. Now, we're going to be blocking this track for a tiny bit of time uh, while we get the new outposts sorted out. We need to figure out a few different things, um, and maybe we need to have the entrance be similar to this, or maybe not. Uh, I don't even know what we need yet. So what do we need? We need a crude oil drop-off. We need a solid fuel pickup. I think that's actually it. That is actually all we need. So why don't we copy those stations from here? This is the crude oil drop-off, so that's going to be here. Let's pick that up. Okay. And why don't we put this in our blueprint sandbox and try to figure out what we're going to do with this. Do we want this on that side or that side? Probably this side, I would guess. Uh, but maybe we're going to mirror these guys. I think we should do that. Let's mirror these guys and then F them, flip them. And put the power poles between cars. That's important so that they line up correctly. Okay, let's go back to our landscape. What else do we need? We need our solid fuel pickup, which probably could be in an array like this. Like the this lovely plastic thing, which is not at all running at a good pace. So I'm going to pick this up. We're going to get everything, including the uh, that stuff. Yep. Let's just take this this way. It is getting the station, which is okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whoa, no. Stop that. Autosave. Stop that. Okay. Um, hmm. We want to have the station be like this. No, we don't. We want it to be like this. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to move this here. Uh, I'm using the sandboxes because it just makes sense uh, here. 
Go away. All this can go away. Hmm. You go away. And this can change into solid fuel condition. I don't know why it changed the condition there. That's very strange. Um, now, I want to get rid of all of this stuff. Go away. Thank you. And then I don't know what this is. So that can go away. And the pipelines, I don't know if we'll need them or not, but we will fix this. So we want this to be there. We also... How do we want to do this? I think we flip the entire thing. So let's control X this and flip the entire this bit. I know that was not a technical term, the this bit part, but I'm doing my best. Doing my best, man. All right, make sure you put it where it needs to go. This signal is a little bit in the way. So let's put in, let's get our, our thingy back. Okay, good. Okay, so this is, this is working. This is great. So what we're going to do also over here is we're going to put in a uh, blue splitter. Do we have a blue splitter, please? Thank you. Uh-huh. Put one right here. And then we're going to just do this. Okay, cool. So this is going to be our station for picking up stuff. So this is going to be solid fuel. Uh, and then a tiny little gray cube. Thank you. Pick up. Okay, very cool. So now we're going to get this station here. We're going to align it here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we call this one copy paste. We're going to say crude drop off. And we'll go ahead and be fancy here. I will offer this as a bl blueprint, by the way. I'll put this in the book. Um, I don't know if I can upload it right away because we'll see. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, anyway, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Uh, I, I try, I do try. I just have a lot of things going on. And I, I'm thinking about starting a new channel, um, actually, uh, because I really like talking about Sweden and I want to do some historical videos like documentaries about the cities around the Stockholm area, as well as um, some more like life experience things. Or maybe even like walking tours of different cities, that kind of thing. Uh, because it's a really beautiful, vibrant place here. And I just love it. It's fantastic. So let's see, let's put this at, I don't know, 100, 100, 100. That should get us a gray. Uh, wait, that needs to be this color. Oh, geez. I'm just not even thinking. Let's make it darker gray. Let's make it like 50. 50, 50, 50. Yep, that's better. Okay, not that it shows very much, but anyway, this is going to be black, which is 0, 0, 0. I used to do some HTML way back in the day. All right, and you... Nope, that's not what I wanted, dude. Careful. Yeah, we'll do this reverse and get that over there. And you can come here. And then we'll add a building train to this situation as well. So let's go add that there. Signal there. Need to close off these blocks. Really important. Is there a signal there? No, it's just the power line there. Okay. We'll put the signal <clears throat> at the end of the track here because we want to make these blocks very functional where the train as soon as they pass the signal then obviously another train can go behind it um, so we want to put it there closer to the the entrance rather than here um, all right so now let's get a building train station from the other area let's see let's look at our no this aha Right, let's get the building train station from here. This is called, oh my God, they're, they're not getting any buildings from here because this is not on the schedule, is it? Well, we do have, oh, it is on the schedule. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just call this a different thing. I think we're gonna call it building oil. Uh, I don't know if, it, if the train will keep the station or not. It will, okay, good. So we're gonna copy this station and we might as well because it's very, Familiar is there a there is a signal right there. Okay, great. 
So let's copy this entire sta uh, station. Uh, yes. And go back to our sandbox. And clonk it down right here. We can't go closer. That's fine. That kind of aligns with our our little, uh, you know, undergroundy for that. Do we need lights? We probably could put lights down. Why not? Why not? It's always nice to have places so that our engineers can see what's going on on the platforms here. I like the idea of real engineers in here instead of automated trains. It's nice. It's nice. Real people. People. We need people operating stuff. Uh, also, I'm not sure why we have a one roboport. Usually we have two for this specific function, but I think it will be okay. Um, we're going to keep the same name, Building Oil, so that it can be on the same route, route, route as our other thingamajingies. Now, let's get our rail book uh, organized here. Let's get the out. So, question is, do we put this on a different track than these? Probably. Probably. We're going to have these going back to the... Um, going back to the upper track where they're going to get the, uh, I'm going to say inferior products, the more basic products. Okay. Um, and then this one is going to be going out here. Let's go one, at least one space. It doesn't need to be two spaces, but one space is needed there. Whoopsies. Ah, darn it. I hate when I do that. These can be trimmed. All right, so these are going to be connected. Um, this one, however, might need more uh, parking. So this is a one, two, three, four train. Now, what if we did this? What if we added a signal here and then added a little bit of parking here on this line to have two trains come here? One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, can we do that? Oh, this is a six train. All right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. It's about here. Uh, all right, what I'll do is I'll just do that. Put in the signal here. And then I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to take this there. And we're going to get rid of this and make this a little bit longer. So the building train can get in here. And what I'm going to do is put in this signal there. Actually, we could have had it shorter, I think, because we're actually going to be able to fit in a much longer train here uh, because of the curve. Anyway, it's fine. It will work as it is. Now, this one goes off to the southern locations. It is not going to go north in any, any universe. It is not. So what we could do is we could cross here if we wanted to, but that could be in the middle of these trains. So it's better to cross at the end now we want to leave at least one space for signaling, just in case. It's always good to have that uh, buffer. Okay, go there and here. Okay, so we're going to trim these off. Okay, now do we have a signal there? We do. Okay, now we actually, instead of this, I forgot about this, we actually need to have some parking because there might be several, uh, several trains wanting this fuel. Um, and while we don't need a whole heck of a lot, I'm just going to put in a giant parking lot anyway. Um, and the reason for that is because we don't know how many we need. So let's see. We want to have, usually we have the chain signal at the end of this thing. Uh, yes, this is the correct one. And I say it's correct based on how the curve goes, how we want it to line up. So we'll have this this way. Otherwise, it would be like here. And we don't want it to be there. We want it to be up here. Hey, there we go. Okay. And then that one we can lead out to be having a curve. There is fine. Yes. Okay, good. Something like that. Okay, cool. So now this is going to interact with something. <laughs> something okay and that something is this line over here does this like oh yeah time passes in the sandbox okay I was thinking it would interact with these lines here but now I'm not so sure uh let's see 
we would have to have so this one is coming from the south we would have to have the um the uh, 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 brain work please this part the swirly part that's collecting this this needs to interact with that central line meanwhile this one needs to interact with the above lines okay so can we make this work let's copy this go out of the sandbox and see if we can make this happen so this one needs to go to that part this one yeah kind of sure all right so the oil one uh okay hold on this is rough this is hard eh hard hard things are happening it's fine though we're used to hard things we like hard things because they make us learn there we go so this one can be here and then we can put in a signal there and there okay that's fine good 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 this one is weird because it's got to connect up here and the inner products wait where is oil coming in here it's coming in on this line so this is coming in from an outer product Ooh. hold on outer is oil yes oh oh i forgot about that so this one effectively oh boy there's no power how did that happen dude all right we're building in the universe right now i'm not really a fan of like map building but it's okay because we can make mistakes here um and we can easily delete them if we're just building in blueprints here so let's go ahead and go to outer we want to go rails out out outer no that's out both rails out uh, out outer no oh no i messed up the blueprint oh crap okay all right i'm gonna have to do it i think what happened is i replaced the wrong blueprint oh no let's see if it's in the sandbox it might be actually let's see is it in the sandbox it's probably in the sandbox it's right here actually yep uh hello this I find very strange, that in the sandbox you can't actually see everything somehow. So rails out. This is rails in. This is rails out outer. All right, let's redo that. Rails out outer. Yeah, that's wrong. We need to have this rails out outer. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's correct now. Out inner, out outer, in, in outer, in inner. Okay, that's good. Also, I'm going to change these because I keep looking for them in alphabetical order. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, it's out outer. It's no, no, an in should be before this and stuff. You know, like that kind of thing. Did I put the others in here as well? No, I don't think I did. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll put them in my uh, my regular... Factorio Framework save file. All right, so these go out outer. Wait, are these inner or outer? No, this is in outer. In outer. Okay, because they are coming from the universe. Good, good, good. And of course, we need uh, other signals. We need this and that. Yes. Okay, and here. Yes. This is coming in, so we need there, and we need here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. So now we take care of the outgoing traffic here, which this one needs to go elsewhere. <laughs> this needs to go somewhere, somewhere else. Who knows where? Maybe we route it through here? Hmm. I don't know. This is, this is a bit tricky, this. Um, this one needs to just go down here, I feel. Yeah, that's just, it's an easy, easy thing just to go down here. And this will just be regular signals coming out there. 
And there's another one out there. Okay, that's fine. So that one can, that's routed. Now this one, oh my God, what are we going to do about this? We could, we could just try to space the entrances appropriately and then find a way to wiggle this track either through here. That would be the best thing, I think. All right, let's do that. Let's find a way to get this track going. So we're going to go rails in, outer. Rails in, outer. In, inner, in, outer. Right. This is, no. No, this is rails out. We want rails out, outer. Yes. Is anybody annoyed with me saying in and out too many times? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are people and I apologize. Okay, so here we go. This will work even if they have to do a, you know, loop-de-loop -loop there. So that should be fine. Let's do this just so we can collect our signals. So these are going to be going out. So we put this here, we put this there. We need regular signals on the other side here. Except... This one also needs to be a that. Cannot reach. Can I please do... Rail signals need to be built next to rails, you know. I have heard that before, game. Hmm. You're not surprising me with this information. Okay, there we go. And can we wiggle? We don't need to wiggle too much. We just want to get this going here. Yay. Okay, very nice. Just put in some signals here and along the way around the pump jacks. Cool. Very cool. And then we need some kind of situation up here. I do want to get those going because they're not working quite right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send our building train to the base to get more materials and then we'll, we'll hopefully get it back here soon. There we go. And we want to address these signals here. Um, this one needs to be a chain signal there. Okay. Because this one is... Oh, that's the same block. Okay, I thought it was here. All right. That's fine. That's working. This is going okay. Maybe. This is a weird signal. Hold on. All right. That's fine. So these are separate. Everything is separate. That's what we want. Okay, let's go over here and I'll have some coffee while they build. Mm. I feel like it's really satisfying to watch this. I know I could skip this. Like, I could just cut this out of the video. But I think it's nice to watch. And I, I'm like, listen to the sound. You know they have those, like, this is so satisfying videos. This is satisfying. This is what is satisfying right here. Okay, so our train went back home. It's already waiting at the station. I want it to come back and visit us over here. We're going to do temporary. We'll do a bunch of seconds past. Sure. Just to make sure we see it and we get it going. All right. This is all looking very good. We do need to connect it to some form of electricity. There we go. Okay. So that's now working. So we have things and or stuff. Except for this thing and or stuff. Uh, apparently I didn't get enough power poles here or something. That's weird. Anyway, we got it now though. And I should get picker dollies and just move this thing up. Because that's really where the power pole should be. I don't know how it got on the wrong line there. Uh, probably just something I missed. Anyway, we'll go ahead and stop the train here. Put it in manual mode. Man, I would love to have like a hot key to like mouse over the train and press the key and it would put into manual mode. That's what we need. I should put that on the uh, on the suggestions thingy. Let's get rid of this. And now we are in, I was going to say we're in paradise now. I don't know if we're in paradise or not. We are in a place. We're in factorial land, which probably is paradise just by definition because it's great. Um... And now we're going to look at building some uh, some stuff. Mainly, oh god, where did my, here it is. Okay, I found my, my tab here. I'm going to make a new 
uh, calculation. So I'm just going to make a new tab and copy this over. And we're going to delete a lot of stuff here. Hello? Okay, thank you. We want to do... Uh, how many do we need, actually? Let's find out from this list how much solid fuel do we need. We need... Wow, 1,965 per second or per minute. Let's do 2,000 solid fuel per minute. Okay, let's add one. We need to change this to solid fuel. We're doing two, one, two, three, 2,000 items per minute. Uh, I don't know what this means. Oh, that's factories. No, that's way too many. Hold on. Hold on. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. 2,000 items per minute. There we go. That looks more reasonable. So what we are going to be doing here is this is going to give us the ratios for all the stuff we need. Um, and maybe we should put this, let's do like 2,500 just in case we're going to get some, I, I don't think we're going to use 500 fuel per minute, but you never can tell. So that gives us, um, certain amounts of stuff we need. And this is going to be a lot smaller even than I thought we would need here. So we have our refineries. Um, and we have a little bit of cracking going on from, uh, heavy oil to light. That's as it should be. And we do have our modules that we set up before and we do need our beacons. So these are the numbers that I'm going to be working off of. Now I'm going to change it so you can actually see me building instead of all that stuff. Oh, I should fix that part. No, it's okay. It's fine. This has to be robust enough for everything. So those are the numbers I'm going to be working off of as I do this build. Uh, just so you are aware and you know how to calculate it yourself because my, my channel is all about I want you to be able to do this yourself. So basically you should be able to learn this and not be reliant on me to provide you with blueprints because I feel like providing you with blueprints is kind of defeats the purpose of this because Factorio is all about learning. And I, I really think that that's super important for people. Okay. So I'm going to look and see, do I have any refineries on me? I don't think I do. I think I need to, let's talk to the train. Let's find out what we got here. Um, Actually, maybe what I should do is I should build this in the sandbox. And the reason for that is because I, it's easier to put down things and stuff. Yeah. I know that's a stupid way of saying that, but it is because I have no refineries on me. I can easily set the recipes when I have uh, this sandbox, which places them automatically. It's a lot easier. Chemical plants. What else do we need? That's it. Uh, water pump. Okay, that's fine. We may need to have uh, pumped water. Uh, that might be needed. All right, so here we go. Let's start off with the um, these guys. So the way you do this is you want to have... These are a bit tricky mm -hmm. because you can only have a certain amount of leeway with, because of the beacons, right? So you need to have the beacons right here. So let's get our beacons. And of course, this is going to be an estimate because not all of these can have the same beacons because this one is going to have, um, oh, it doesn't show. Let's see, let's get uh, modules in here. Okay, and then I'll delete these and copy this over again. And what I'm going to do is I'll put in also, we need to put in the power poles so we can see how many modules are affecting each beacon. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Okay, very good. So let's copy these up here and we'll just make them symmetrical. Okay, now we also need to get power poles like this approximately. So let's copy the, the power pole thingy, put that over here, and then we can see approximately how this is going to work. Now, we need to put in our uh, wonderful uh, cheat power. There we go. And we can see now that this thing is affected by 10 beacons or 10 sources. And the sources are these, um, these guys. Now, I think if we have an extra refinery, that's going to make up for not having them affected by the 16 sources, I think. 
Um, let's see. Can we, how many does it say we need? We need 4.366. Let's have like six of these, okay? Let's do six. Ooh, shiny. There were things. There was like strobe lighting. I thought I was in the middle of a disco. That was cool. Okay, this guy. So these in the middle, these are eight. Eight. Ah, because you know what? Because they don't have uh, they don't have these sources in the middle. That also makes a huge difference. Let's go and collect these guys. Let's get more of these as well. Um, so we're going to put these in the middle here. There we go. That's more sources. There we go. 13. 13 instead of 16. Uh, but that's because of uh, the, the size of these things. Is because there's space in between them and stuff like this. So 13, 13, 11, 11, 11, and 11. All right. I think it should be okay, though. Um, I don't think it should be terrible. So let's see. Does this one affect this? Yes. So what's the one that, the last one? This one, I think. Yeah. So we'll take those off and add you here. Okay, so this one is actually affected by 11. You have to power them in order to see how many they're affected by. Now, these guys, I shouldn't have copied these over yet because they need to have this kind of silliness attached to the end, which is, I'm not a big fan, but eh. Let's go ahead and copy this and I will delete these. Create blueprint, that's fine. We need to, oh, we have mistake. Oh no. Ah, crap. Okay, it's fine. We'll fix it somehow. So basically I need to just chuck all of this because I forgot to put a power pole in the middle or put, or just have a middle. We needed a middle and we didn't get one because we need this to be out of the way of that. We need to have spaces between them, which means an extra beacon or two. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, just one beacon. Let's copy this down and you go there. Okay. And then we need a power pole there and we'll put one there and then we can copy. Let's see. Control V. Hello. There we go. Yay. So we'll put that here for all of these. Okay, good. So that's how you have to do petroleum on these three-sided ones because there are, isn't enough space for the beacons effectively. Okay, so that is going to be uh, where we start. I'm going to put this, rotate it because I want to have oil coming in from outside here somewhere from our train station and then the rest is going to go to the left. So what we can do here is let's move this whole thing over here. There we go. And then we'll get our pipes up here. So we have six of these refineries. I think that's going to be enough. This is 13, 13, 13. They're all 13 now, affected by 13 sources. That should make up for two speed modules, I feel like, because we have six instead of 4.3. I think that's enough. So now we are going to go to the next uh, stage of things. Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, light oil and heavy oil out of this situation. So we're going to build some um, things here. I want to actually build them with pumps because having pumps will will um, create, I don't know if you can say create pressure. Uh, the pipes mechanics in this game are interesting, that's for sure. Um, and pressure, what happens is when you, when pipes are very, very long or even moderately long, Kind of over time, what happens is that they get to a very low point from which it's impossible to recover. So that's not ideal. You might say that's not ideal. Uh, so you want to keep that pressure or whatever up as long as possible. Uh, all right, so now we have petroleum coming out here. It says on our little sheet here that we need, so we have 16 sources. You know what? I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to 13 sources because these are going to have, um, actually, no, they need to be 11, I think, right? They need to be 11 on the speed modules. All right. Wow. It really, oh, for some reason, I'm, I've got to show you this. This is weird. So for whatever reason, these changed to 32 and 24. How does that even happen, man? So I changed them all to 11, and now it says we need 9.1. Yeah, of course, it said 24 before that. So we, we're going to add more of these, uh, because if we take out the three here, 
So that's three modules. So then it's actually 10, it's not 11. Now I'm guessing on the chemical plants, we can probably, yeah. So 9.6, all right. So in our build, we're going to make those, uh, go away this, thank you. Uh, oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this thing. Oh, whoops, hold on, just one second. I apologize. I'm having some slight issues here. Okay, my calculator went out of view and that was very annoying. All right, anyway, so we need we need more of these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then let's copy four more to have 10, two, three, and four. Okay, and we'll chuck these in here, space between. And then we get our beacons, yay. Should probably be enough, yeah, that's enough. Okay, cool. And then, of course, we need to copy four more of these over as well. Okay, so there's our petroleum. And then we're going to suck it out with this pump over here. And that, of course, needs a power pole. But let's set up the, um, the cracking and the other stuff first. So what we're going to do is we're the most efficient recipe for solid fuel is light oil. So we want to get the heavy oil cracked into light and then we're going to make the f the solid fuel cubes out of all of these various uh oils so let's start with that um I'll, let me get the this thing i don't need these okay so cracking for heavy oil we need three machines two and a half machines so we'll put this over here Let's see if that's enough space. Cracking like this, yes, okay, great. So we're, we're gonna need two outlets without touching the petroleum here. That's fine, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So this is gonna go like probably here, that's fine. And then have an outflow on the other side. But we need to have separate beacons here because it's not going to be enough space. So we need to move this out there and then grab some beacons. But what we should, what we can do actually is flip this around or turn it around and use these beacons over here because this should be on the outside. So get this, exit out, put these here. By the way, we're not aligning it with the train station. This is going to be separate, and I can align this when I create my own blueprints. So these guys actually effectively need to be turned around. Let's uh, let's shift. I shifted that, dude. Don't do that, man. So these, oh boy. These need to be here-ish. This one goes away. We need to copy this again. And then we get another one of these, like that. Okay, good. So you can go there, because we're changing the geometry of this, by the way. Uh, okay, and we're gonna hook these up to tanks in just a bit, um, but first we need to get this stuff going. So this is also hooking up to oil, by the way. I do feel like, hmm, Let's see, you can go there. Does that still work? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, uh, you know, no, 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 no. Why does this, oh, it's the power pole that's giving me that signal, that's weird, okay. Let's see, you are, you need to be there. So the way I figured that out, by the way, is these guys, if you notice, they can go to a limit of the other beacon. So if you put this one one square aligned with that top beacon, you can figure out how far these are. Because these, these yellow squares, when they're in a line like this, you can't tell anything. They're all overlapping each other. It's very annoying. So yeah, we, yeah, yeah, it's annoying. Okay, so let's see. Let's get this moved down here. And we'll put them two squares away. I find that a better thing. It's easier for us to get stuff going. Now the water is an interesting situation which we might do from the top instead. Um, so let's see how we can do that. We probably want it down here. See so you are, no water is here. Okay. Uh, right like this. Water. Come on. Okay. 
All right, so. So now let's figure out what we got here. So we're getting heavy oil, which is this inner thing. We want to connect this to a pi uh, to a um, a storage tank, which would be here. Here, we're aligning this this way. If you see, there we go. Okay, cool. And then. Uh, this is as far as the heavy oil is going to go. It will go no further than this. We already know this. This is a thing. We are not taking it any further. So now we figure out where the light oil is going to go. And this can go maybe like this. This is kind of a weird alignment. Um, but what we can do is just do something like this. And it's never going to touch. So you don't have to worry about it touching. And this will just go like here. So that's our light oil going into there. So this is good, yay. Uh, now we get our, we can get some of these lined up. Oh boy, that doesn't work, does it? At all, no, no, no. So this we might wanna put down a little bit to leave that space for the beacon. Okay, oopsies. Okay, that's fine. But now this one is a bit crooked. So what I can do is just move this down. It doesn't hurt to move it down one, it's okay. There we go, and move this down. Okay, cool. So then the petroleum one, uh, we're going to have to figure out where that goes. Okay, so copy. We need how many of these machines? So the cracking, how many are connected? That's a good question. We need to get this here. And let's put in a temporary one there. So this has, let's get in our, our uh, actually, we need to find out how many beacons we got here. Effect source is eight. All right, so I'm going to change that on the calculator and see I'm surprised only eight really wow three four that's not right oh no it's not right the numbers are not right we're affected by eight buildings but not oh no so all of the calculations are wrong so this is actually 16 on here Okay, I'm going to have to fix these guys because we don't know what the, what the heck they're affected by. These are affected by 14 minus 3 because the 3 are inside. So if we take these modules out, this is so confusing working with the, uh, the other calculator. I wish it would tell us how many modules. So we are affected by 11 effect sources. How is that even? Oh, this one. Okay, take that one out. So 10 which means we're affected by 20 modules, right? 20 modules on these guys. So I'm going to put that into the calculator and see what we got going on. All right, so that makes us need 6.2 of these guys. All right, so we're going to take some of this down because we don't need to spend all these modules on this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so we delete everything above this line. And we delete all these things. And what's the last? This one. No, that one. Okay, so those can be deleted. And we'll delete these. Okay, that's fine. Good, good. Go away, stuff we don't need. You go away too. All right, so that's better. All right, so now how many buildings of these do we need? So cracking. All right, I'm going to put in the 16 there as well, since we are clearly... I think these are going to vary slightly so we can, it says 2.031 cracking. So I'm going to put in three and that's going to be a good amount, I think, because it is a low number and some of them are going to be affected by more or less because of the spaces between buildings. That's important to note. So let's copy this and you're the last one. So this is going to be how many? Eight sources, six eight eight six eight so i think that extra machine is well gonna cover that i think it'll be fine so yeah let's go with that um all right so the next section how many machines do we need let's see we need nine machines for petroleum making solid fuel and 22 machines for the oil the light oil we could fit some of those petroleum machines in here. 
Let's see, what do they... I think it's just literally petroleum, right? Yeah. So if we route the petroleum around this way instead of underneath, we could actually put them here. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Um, and then we'll have a belt kind of coming out there for that. Uh, also, this station is probably way overkill. Uh, we might change this to four lanes instead of eight. So let's let's do this. Let's get these guys. We need to do something like this and put it like mm, this. Maybe like that. Okay. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. Go away. You are getting me petroleum to fuel. All right. So then going to do like this kind of thing. I th or no, actually we can just do a straight solid line of this. And we don't we will get better beacon performance as well. So these guys are going to have 16. Yeah. 16 between. And we're going to output this to a belt. And we'll just use blue belt. So that's becoming the new standard. All right, let's do this. Now, how many is this going to make? Does it tell me? Oh, wow. For all of this, this is going to make almost one blue belt. So this is going to, yeah, go the way of the dinosaur very shortly. I think we might even just do two cars instead of eight cars. We definitely don't need eight cars. Definitely don't need eight cars. So we might change this to two cars. Anyway, um, so this, since it's the, the entire production of this line is going to be less than a uh, full belt, we can put half of this definitely onto a belt. We don't have to worry about trying to put on double on this belt. So let's do this. Take this away, put that there, and put in power poles like this. And here, we're just going to add that there. So let's add these guys. And we need how many of these again? We needed nine altogether. And we'll just do that. So copy this again. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's get rid of this one. Be fairly exacting with this stuff so we don't have to have extra beacons because beacons are expensive. All right, and that will go out here this way. And then let's copy the beacon numbers here and place them over here. So what, I'm, what I wanted to do here is save modules, and that's why I've placed these guys over there. So let's get these done. Yay. All right, cool. So now all we need to do is put in the factories for the light oil to um, solid fuel, and those are going to be over here. So let's do that right now. We'll get this whole thing and clunk it from here. Yep. And these guys are going to be all light oil to solid fuel. All right, where's my thing? Okay. I'm trying to keep track of the time unless like, ooh, hold on. All right, here we go. So uh, I need to shorten my, my window here. One moment, please. So voila, here we are. We have our 22 machines here. We did have to add some extra beacons out here, but that's okay. Um, it's expected and part of the build. So let's go ahead and add these power poles up here as well. And what we want to do, I think, is bring these, um, these uh, belts in and combine them. Actually, this could be there. All right, there we go. So I'm not sure. I think we might actually have to put this on both sides of the belt uh, because of how many machines there are. So what I'm going to do is I'll just kind of go relative halvesies here and just kind of like put these on the opposite side of the belt. And then here, what we'll do is we'll just um, put them evenly onto the belt. Okay, good. So now let's <laughs> let's alter this slightly. 
Uh, I think we're going to have at most two cars of this. We're just going to delete all the rest of this stuff here. And that will make our our uh, train situation much easier for sure. So anything after two is toast. And also this is completely toast. All right. We actually only have one uh, belt coming in. So let's delete all of this and get our belt going. I'm really surprised that this only ended up being one belt. But these are blue belts, by the way. Just, just keeping that in mind. Uh, Alright, so this, what we need to do also now, we have petroleum from here. Now this petroleum, we don't actually need to take it downward. This can leave. Right, so that goes out of the picture, and we, we instead insert it from up here. Um, and I guess we do that somewhere like up here. Yeah, like that. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, yes, get rid of that. And we could actually have a... A, uh, um, a storage tank here as well so we can you know have a little bit of leeway on stuff that would be kind of nice a leeway on production okay then we need that there and then here we need this okay good good okay cool and then we definitely need to hook up the light oil to this tank. So this is our light oil tank that we have going and that is going to be hooked up right there. And actually what I want to do here is probably put in another pump because we really want this to be making sure it goes the entire distance. Okay, so that can go there. Now because it is such a long distance, I also want to hook up light oil up here because that's just smart, you know, just kind of like attach it where you can. Okay, cool. And it's all going to the same destination, so there's no issue with any of that. So here is where I'm going to put the pump. Now, I've, I've learned over time this may or may not be overkill, because sometimes you run into fluid shortages, and oh boy. Like in, in, in the other blueprint I have of the oil thing that we used already, that was a nightmare because we didn't have enough flow. So I had to put these pumps in in many places because of flow. Okay, so this is what we have. Now we do have to change the train station, obviously, um, but that can be done pretty easily. So let's go ahead and in the interests of making a blueprint, let's just move this. And, oh, Control Z. Oh, we needed those two. Whoops. Okay. Control X. Let's move all of this and then move it a bit closer. Okay. Well, we can remo remove these things here. Okay. And that's kind of what our blueprint is going to look like. I, I could be sneaky and chuck this in the middle of that. Should I do that? Nah, it's not needed. Okay, so we do have the, the thing on our cursor right now. We don't need this anymore. All right, so here we have the thing. Let's go out of the sandbox and place the thing. Let's go control V. And first thing I want to do is delete all of this stuff. My goodness, this is quite, quite the combo here. So everything more than two, we got want to get out of here. And this is two, <coughs> two cars, pardon me. Uh, here we go. Okay, nice. And then we take this and we get rid of this. And that is our, our thing. There we go. So we're going to watch those pipes up ahead there. And oh my god, that fits. Look at how nicely that fits. Ha! Fantastic. So here we are. There we are. We're placing stuff. Uh, what we didn't put in is RoboPorts, so I'm going to do that now. Does one cover the entire thing? It does, actually. Look at that, how nice that is. Let's add power here. That's needed. But there we go. Ooh, we can even align it. Ooh, ooh. So now I'm going to get power lines going across. There we go. Okay. 
So now we can get robots actually making this place work. We do actually have the construction and some Logibots. I don't know why we have 73 Logibots. That seems like an awful lot. We'll go ahead and take some of those. We don't need more than... Uh, I don't know why we have so many. Why we have so many? Uh, well, now it's stabilized, so that's okay. I will put these back in here. Okay, there we go. So, this place is going to get serviced, I hope, one day. Uh, because we do need to put down an awful lot of these machines and stuff. Are we getting the things we need? Do we... Are these existing? Yeah, they are existing. Okay. So we need... We need bots to do work, is what we need. Because we actually do have all of these refineries, chemical plants and stuff, but they're not actually doing anything right now. That's a shame. That's kind of annoying. But it'll get fixed. It'll get done. Uh, I think they're waiting for these queues here, which is not great. Probably should... What should we do about this? What's going on with our solar production? Wow, we have plenty of stuff. Hmm. Okay, why are we not getting these areas done? This one exists, but it's not connected. Something... Ah! Do we have the gap? Oh, the famous gap. Jeez Louise. And it's messing up everything. That gap is messing everything up. Okay, well, let's delete the gap. I don't know how we managed to do this twice in a row, but we did. We did bad. We did very bad. Ay yeah 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 yeah. Okay, gap, go away. I'm going to <laughs> just redo this entire thing. This is a mess and a half. Oh my god. All right, all this, all this can go. Excuse me. Getting all this out of here. Get rid of all this. I'm gonna have to go there between episodes and just clean this up and figure it out. Make sure there's none of this stuff going on. Okay, save the fish. We don't have to kill all the fish. It's fine. Fish, you no longer have a mark for death on your heads. Yes. All right, so I'm going to fix this between episodes because this is clearly not working and it's causing cues and stuff, which is not great. But looks like some of these things did get placed down, so that's positive. Um, so what we need to do now, it's not finished yet. It's not finished. We need to connect the oil. So I'm going to take this pipe over. Uh-huh. So this is actually oil too. So we'll, we'll connect these together and then connect them to the factory. Uh, which is over here. We'll put it down here. That's the most convenient way to do this. Okay. So that's going to give us some production. Uh, but we do need water as well. Do we have a water pipe coming nearby? No. Water. Ooh. Water is over here. Um, so what I want to do, I think, is grab one of these thingies. Do we have a blueprint for this already? Game blueprints? No. 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 Wow, what is this? Oh my god. Um, no, we can delete this one. This is not needed anymore. This might not be needed, actually. What I do want to make is a blueprint for these, like, distance pumping stations things. Here, let's shift-click this. Get rid of railroads. Yeah, so create blueprint. Actually, we can do an, um, a snap-to-grid on this relative uh, for... Let's see. Height, 6. Okay. And then we want to do width... 56-ish. Uh, X1. Oops, one, please. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, y. 
One, two. And this can be four then. This can be like this. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna call this uh, pump station or something or pump, yeah, pump stations. That's what they're called in real life, really. So, all right, cool. So we'll call this pump stations. Okay. So let's create this blueprint and I'm going to put this in our, this book, which is going to be production oil. Do I have one of these already? I probably do. Yeah, right here. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, this is a one way. Oh, well, it's actually both. No, no, no. These, this one goes pump stations. Mm, 2x 2x we're going to call this because they both go the same direction because of the pump so let's save that again so we're actually we're just improving this whole situation here uh all right so but we don't actually need both but do we care if we need both i don't think we care we're going to go ahead and do this here and connect that to water over there and then we're going to connect this over here. We have to fix this though. We have to fix it. And this is also annoying. We need water there. Uh, you go there. Oh, we need to move that slightly. All right, I'll, I'll go up and fix this and see if we can get this done here. Uh, we might need to move that water slightly lower. Okay, this one was supposed to connect here. There we go. So this is a tiny mess and a half here. So we need to change this. Okay, good, good. It's gone through most of it okay. And it looks like these bots over here actually fixed this for us. That's quite nice. Rails to the sea, oh no. All right, let's just do a this, and you can be a that. Oh, nice. There's rails over there, too. How convenient. I was like, what is that? That looks weird. Okay, we don't have any more offshore pumps, weirdly enough. Okay, here we go. I think they were all eaten with nuclear or something. Uh, okay, you go there. You can be here. You can be over there, and let's connect them up. Good, good. And so let's go back to game speed 10, and I'll walk back over. There we go. Watch the rails. Always zoom out when you're going over rails, because it could save your life. Mm. Now then, uh, water comes in here. And I'm going to put in a water tank, because why not? Uh, I think that would be sensible. There used to be a thing where you're not supposed to route through tanks. I don't know if that still holds. Does anybody know? You, you were supposed to put the water or the uh, pipe outflow either on a corner or just connected by the side. Um, I don't know if that still works that way or not. It's a very strange kind of idea, but it has to do with the fluid dynamics and, and stuff like that. So, All right, there we go. So now we should be able to process oil. We do have oil from these pump jacks. I'm not going to send an oil train yet because we don't even need one. Um, we have lots of uh, regular oil here. And that it's basically filled up completely because of these pump jacks. So it does look like we're making stuff. We are making lots of... Yeah, there we go. It's all... We're making tons of fuel. Well, not tons. Enough for a 250 item per minute factory. Uh, or 250 science per minute factory. So it doesn't look like a lot, but hey, it's something. And it is going into our lovely little containers here. So yay. That's nice. I'm hoping that's correct. I think it should be fine. Did we define anything? I think the six is referring to the six chests here. So these should be relatively, let's see, five, 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 14, 12. Uh, 
I think these are grabbing a lot because they're stack inserters. I'm not sure that this is working very well. This this car s area seems to be working better than this one. Why are you guys unhappy? This divided by six. Are these connected? Because it feels like they are not... Well, no, these are passing stuff by. I think I think they just grab big stacks whenever they're allowed to grab. So anyway, now we have the ability now to um, fuel our trains. We have the ability to generate this for rocket fuel. And uh, maybe maybe what we should have done, and I, I should do this, actually. I should make a train stop. Maybe we do it here, actually. We could do a train stop fueling for solid fuel into like a, um, uh, a whatchamacallit thing, uh, a fueling train. So if we do like, let's see, let me copy, no, I just, I'll just do it by hand because it's going to be odd otherwise. If we do something like this for a fuel train, of course we need our power poles here, yay, yay. And then we have our boxes here. And of course, regular or fast inserters is fine. We need to have a this guy. And there we go. I don't have it on my hop bar, so have to get it from somewhere. Okay, cool. So this will give us a little bit of leeway here. So if we allow them to have one stack each, that would be kind of cool. So this is the wrong way. Okay, there we go. So now we can have a fuel train stop here and pick up a bunch of fuel for other stuff. And of course it'll fuel the building train as well when it comes by. So that's quite nice. This The whole thing is very nice. This is pretty great. I'm excited about this. So that is our uh, fuel build. Obviously we do need some beacons and stuff and the train should be by at some point. Now, are we able to close? We closed assembly that one yay so now we're just asking for a bunch of modules here but this is the only train stop that train will come to now so that's we're making progress with building train and hopefully the the other building train on this track line will come here uh first because it is i believe it's closer it is closer than this one and this one needs those level three modules so we should be able to get trains in here quickly uh to be able to build this out and it only needs level one modules so i think we're in a really good space with this and i think next time we'll look into making more of the intermediate products on the intermediate line and maybe we even have maybe we make a set another line here like a third line for making engines and other things uh we have a number of products to do so we've got engines gears flying robot frames um maybe i'll do it by lines like this like this will be line three, this line four, and this line five. The science is on the last line. I feel like that would be a good idea. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, do please, uh, and I hope, hope you, hope, hope, hope you'll do that uh, like tiny favor for me. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't enjoy it, do let me know why. Um, I'm always interested to hear what people are looking for, what people like, um, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. That's going to be all I have for you today. So, um, yeah, if you want to help support me in my quest to deliver fantastic gaming content, do check out the Patreon link below. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, feed the ducks, all the things, quack, quack. <laughs> and uh, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.